hold on, I'm just going to look at this now for this morning we had the elephant who was high, higher, th higher than us and we were looking up at him and now we're looking down on the elephant because they're just below us. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Some of them being a bit playful. And you see, I always say this, you, know, you can drive around for a while and see very little and then all of a sudden things start happening around you and you can bump into them. And anything really. I've heard of elephant. I think the important thing is, is to, to just be on the lookout for anything. Listen to the bush. You'll often find, find creatures around every corner really. <laughs> Look how they're pushing one another. Well, Teresa from New York. Um, hello, Teresa. I hope it's a wonderful day in New York. It looked like you've been having wonderful weather out that side of the world. Um, and Teresa, you wanted to know, do the elephant lie down to sleep? And yes, Teresa, they do indeed. We've actually seen it a few times on Safari Live. We've seen how the elephants lie down and rest and actually sleep. Not for very long though, Teresa, but they will lie down um, and, and rest from time to time. Maybe, maybe half an hour or an hour. Um, they don't rest, they don't need the rest like we need to rest and sleep. But these animals do, the elephant do sleep, lie down. I've seen big bulls and actually we had one, uh, have a look. This one's having a seat here right next to us. What was he? <laughs> Sat down and got up and moved again. Um, so Teresa, I, I have seen um, a, a once at, at the lodge that I used to work at and we were... Um, I think we had just got back from, from our morning safari and the the guests came and called us and said, Ah, oh, there's a there's a dead elephant in front of their in front of their lodge in their room. So we were quite concerned. We quickly ran over and had a look. And it was a huge bull elephant that just decided to go and sleep in front of their in front of their, their room. It was down a bit of an embankment in the riverbed and he had laid down against a bit of a termite mound. Um, so he wasn't completely flat, but it was it was just perfect for him to lie down and rest. And he lay there for about an hour, but we could just see him breathing. So we knew he was still alive. And then he got up and moved on. So it was amazing to see a big bull elephant like that lying down. Just going to move forward a little bit to the rest of the, the group. I'm just going to go around the corner here. See some of those youngsters still very playful using their trunks. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, they are all in front of us again, digging in this area looking for water. I think. Um, I'm going to sit here a little bit longer with these elephant. Let's quickly head over to Taylor, just find out how her search for Tingana is going, and then we'll see you all shortly again. We just had a brown little kingfisher that we were trying to show you, but those kingfishers are shy birds and it didn't want to stick around. Now, I went off and we walked the drainage line but there were no tracks in that drainage line at all which is a little bit baffling